Hello everybody, welcome to FC Marcos Fan Channel. This is Sonny Limjoli. Guys, like, comment, subscribe. Guys, so I've put my CV for this vacant post of Kaiser Chiefs. I want to be the coach, the next coach of Kaiser Chiefs. Don't be mistaken by this black and white uh, suit that I'm wearing. Don't be mistaken. I want to be the next coach for Kaiser Chiefs. I mean, why not? I've been hearing that so many people are putting their CVs in like big coaches and yeah, your fly by night coaches. But yeah. That's the updates when it comes to uh, the current coaching uh, vacant post. So there has been rumors that we are making grounds, that we are progressing with some talks that we have started. But you know what Kaiser Chiefs said, they will not announce anything until everything is formatted. So these journalists will keep on like talking about rumors and trying to make news even if there's no news. So yeah. That's the kind of news. But yeah, I'm reacting to the game that we played yesterday against uh, Cape Town Spurs. What a performance. What a performance in the first half. I was amazed. I mean, around 27, 37 minutes, I went and I posted on my Facebook. And I was like, you know what? It's about high time. No, I was like, we haven't played beautiful football. Oh, I said, oh, can't we can play beautiful football. Oh, we can we can play. Oh, can we can play beautiful football? Cause wow, I was so 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 impressed with the performance. How they rotate the, the ball, how they they move the ball, and how they are spacing, how they are creating those RVs, how they are creating those combinations, forming those uh, triangles. Like I was, I was I was so impressed. I was so impressed in how we're playing in the first half. But I must say. I must say, if we are attacking, we must close the back door. Because we can keep on making the mistakes of opening the back door. And so many of you, so many of you will blame it on Kune. But look where the error was first. Look where the mistake was. I mean, in the 32nd, 35th, 37th minutes or 37 seconds or so, Msimango is fouling a player who's looking in his own position. He's following a player looking his own position just outside the box. Just outside the box and you want to, I don't know, push him or what? I'm like, what are you doing? Is this the reason why you are not playing? Is this why you haven't been playing off late? Because, I mean, we saw that the coach made changes in the starting lineup. Uh, he brought back he brought back Msimang who hasn't played. I think in four or five games hasn't played conservatively. He brought back uh, this guy. He brought back Nobo as well. So it was Nobo. It was Nobo who played as an attacking middle feeder and do Shabalala kept his position. Dolly kept his position. And then Ranga was back as well in the starting lineup. And then Kune maintained our uh, starting lineup and Dove was back. Sand was on the bench. Frosta kept uh, the right. And yeah, CDM we had Castillo and then Uyomat who happened to be the man of the match. He was playing like he was all over everywhere. The guys played very well. Like I like the combination of Nobo. I mean, yes, of Nobo and um, Gobo with the attacking players. In fact, the offensive players like they were interchanging. Like you would not know who's playing where. You would not know between Dolly, uh, Shabalala, and Ranga. You would not see who's playing where because they're interchanging making those runs and taking other people's positions and Ranga you find him drifting wide drifting at the back to make space for our offensive players like it was a beautiful it was a beautiful uh, half like I was like wow really 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 we have played very well and then again and again we made that mistake of doing what of allowing crosses in we are allowing crosses in. And I don't know why we are playing high line. I don't know if it was the coach. We are playing high line, but our defenders are not that quick. And we are playing high line because how we consider the goal, they play the ball behind us. And some of you will say that but Kune should have stayed in the box. And I will say to you right now that had he stayed in the box, some of you, if not many of you, you would have said that why did he stay in the box? Why didn't he come out? Because why? That ball is played like this. It curves. It curves. So the flight is up 
is high and then it, it curves. I mean, as a keeper, you see the ball coming this way, you think that it's going to run to you. And then because it's curling, it ran away from Kune, it went to the angle. And I'm like, if I was a keeper, I'm not a keeper. If I was a keeper, I was going to make the same uh, commitment. I was commit the same. I was going to go out and try and cover that ball. So you are blaming it on Kune and you should say that it should have stayed. And I'm like, nah. I would not have personally son and I would not have stayed in the box. I would have went out. But also you are playing high line and you are not communicating as defenders. I think yesterday the mistake that you had on the two center backs, they were not communicating enough yesterday. It sounded it reminded me of Matoho and Kato. So those guys used not to communicate. You, those guys used not to communicate. And yesterday, I did not see much of communication between Simango and uh, the Tlokwe. And the Tlokwe, the Tlokwe, the Tlokwe. Yeah, the Tlokwe. The Tlokwe. The Tlokwe and Simango, like, yeah, especially the Tlokwe. And I've been saying this. The Tlokwe does not have a competition because he's been playing all the games. And I'm like, but why is it that he does not have competition? Why is he not sad? Why is he not sad? Because he's also been part and parcel of the guys who are conceding goals. I mean, when last did you keep a clean sheet? When last did you keep a clean sheet because we've been conceding goals and the clock has been there in all those games? Instead, we are serving everyone on the right. On his right, we are serving everyone. I mean, against Pirates, how are we going to start? Who's going to be the two center backs? Who's going to be the back line? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, yesterday we played very well. I love how we played, how we switched the ball and how we kept the ball. And one thing, and I, I want you to tell me if you notice this or not. One thing that we did yesterday, we did not put so many crosses in. We hardly put crosses in. If we could see that there's only one player in the box, Ranga was by himself would not put a cross in and I'm like this is smart because each and every time would want to cross those balls put those balls and I'm like but you're crossing the ball into a person who's marked by five people and you want to cross the ball but yesterday around the box will come back like this is how Manchester City plays I'm not saying that's how Keza Chiefs plays when they see that there's no hole or there's no space that is opening they will come back with the ball, build it, build it, draw the opponents and then count. So yesterday we were doing that, passing the ball amongst ourselves, passing the ball amongst ourselves. And then if you see there's one player in the box, will not cross the ball. And then we'll play. Because if you look at how the first goal came, how Castillo's goal came, yo, what is beautiful touch, yo, Dolly, 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 yo, Dolly. Dolly killed this guy, like, with the first touch. First touch. Open foot to inside. Okay. And that guy, I think that guy injured, but because he was acting as a starring, <laughs> he did not want to be sad. Because yeah, yeah, Dolly like killed that guy. And then to Shabalala. Shabalala, I don't know if he was looking who's coming or not. Then just cross the ball. When he cross the ball, goes to no, no man's land. And I love how this guy Matt went after the ball to make sure that the ball does not go out and then brought it in cross Ranga it misses him and then it goes just where Castillo was and then he headed that beautiful 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 team goal beautiful cross beautiful finish beautiful 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 and then second goal, how we score well, how we score the second goal. Yeah. Those touches. Those touches. Dolly to was it Gosin Pilenov? Gosin Pilenov. And then he shoots. And it shoots, it deflects, goes to Ranga. And I'm talking about striker's instinct. You are found in the box. Six yard area, just tap in. Beautiful, beautiful team goal. Like yesterday was beautiful team goals. Then we concede. Behind the players, Kune, boom. Kune has been so unlucky because he's been considering so many goals. Hence, I did not have him as my starter on this game because, yeah, he's been considering so many game goals I had opted for Vuma. But, yeah, nonetheless, yesterday, 
I don't blame him for the first goal. I don't blame him for the second goal as well. But some of you, you like media and what media are saying that Kune is dead. Yeah, yeah, his days are, are numbered. And yeah, you're busy pouring fire on that. You're busy pouring uh, paraffin on that. And I'm like, you're so unfair on Kune. But yeah, anyway, we are conceding in crucial stages. We considered against Sundance, we went for a corner, they hit us on a corner, 43rd, 45th, and yesterday we considered in the 42nd minute. First goal. Second goal, we considered the second goal in the 88, 89 minute. We always, we lapse concentration. We lapse concentration in that uh, minutes in crucial minutes, but yeah, back to the third goal. Third goal, how many passes? I think it was six, seven passes amongst ourselves. But second half, we are completely dead, 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 dead. In the in, in in the second half, it was like it was a new team, and the coach is trying new team, trying new combinations because the guys were playing second half. I know they were dead. Then the coach made subs late and substituted wrong person. Not wrong people, wrong person. He kept Dolly in the field longer than he should have because Shabala was still on and Shabala was still giving us something. He was our live wire even in the second half, Shabala. He was our best player in the second half. And then the coach subbed him and kept Dolly for a long time and Dolly did not see him throughout until he was subbed. Zwana comes in. I was happy to see Zwane coming in. I did not see much of him, but except that in the second half, we're losing so many balls and it's like we're rushing to get more goals or something. Then we are shooting from afar and we're not seeing oncoming players where we should have passed them. And then instead we wanted to shoot the ball. It's like each and every player yesterday wanted to shoot when even they were not in good positions, when they were in awkward positions. And I'm like, but why so greedy? Because Zwana comes in and then you opted to shoot when Dolly was opening up. Same with Castillo, opted to shoot when he turns and the, and, 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 and the poster behind him, he turns instead of passing Matt. Like, we were so rushing in the second half. It was interesting not to see Matt oh, in the starting lineup. It was so interesting. I don't know if... Probably Johnson is still finding his own combinations or starting lineup or what because it's strange for me that Matlow has been one of our good players but the coach is not playing. But I must say that I was happy to see Nobu playing the way that he played, but he needs to. Jim Moore, Beast Lima. Yesterday he looked Dina and I was happy to see him Dina and energetic. I love the energy uh, that he had with um, Chabalal. I love that energy, but. Imagine if they are to train more, take extra lessons as well, take extra lessons, uh, extra gym, and then go, go for it. Like guys, give us 90 minutes performance, give us 90 minutes concentration, not these patches, because second half we're playing in patches. We're playing in, patch in patches and we let this guy comes back. Saile, Saile comes in, makes a change. Boom, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Goal, beautiful goal, beautiful team goal. Those passes. Ta, 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 ta. Saile finished very well with his right foot, with, with his worker foot. And he's playing. He was on the left where he enjoys playing. But yeah, guys, 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 we have a team. This team needs patience. And the fact that these guys did not have pressure yesterday because the fans are not there. They really played very well, except in the second half where they relaxed. They were too relaxed and they allowed the opponents to take their chances. Second goal, I blame it on, I don't know who allowed the cross in. Was it Foster on the right? Allowed the cross in. And then Matt, Matt as well, he was like, I don't know, he's just rushing as well to mark. And then, like, they killed him. Just inside out, boom. And then they pass this young boy, a 17 year old, who scored against Kune. And that guy, that guy scored around three players. Scored around three players. I'm like, no one is closing in these guys. In the box, they are.
passing themselves. I don't know if we were afraid to commit fouls or to make a, a, a commit foul and make it a penalty. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But the second goal we should not have considered. The first, and sure, I understand second goal should not have considered that goal, but are we going to attack and forget about the, the back door because of our defense? Dove as well. Dove, like, Dove was, was always caught napping yesterday. He was always caught napping at the back. He was always leaving spaces. And then he, he was exposing our center backs. Then now this guy, the club needed to come and cover him. When he comes and cover him, and then you'll find Simango is by himself there because Frostler is not really there as well. Or when he comes in, like we're making mistakes. We're making mistakes. Dove yesterday was not performing. He played one of his bad games. I'm not saying worst games, but bad games. His position was poor. Did not go forward. Did not offer us much going forward. But I'll still keep him for the next game. I'll still keep him against Paris. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Keza Chiefs 3, Spurs 2. It was unnecessary two goals that you considered. But I love the fact that we won and we are going to our next game against Orlando Paris. Let me know what you think. I'm going to do my match preview just now for Pirates. But yeah, most likely you'll get it tomorrow, Friday or Saturday. But yeah, let me be on it now. AFC, I'm channel. Love you. Bye.